Hey, welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. It's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com, week number four, as we celebrate our Better Together Afghan, designed by my friend Jeannie and I. So what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to do a reflection of what we've done in the past. We were trying to figure out cohesive and trying to also make the pattern repeatable so that you don't have to necessarily sweat your way through the summer. I've been told the women of the South, they don't sweat, they glow. Mm, I've been on a cruise, you sweat, okay. So anyway, we're gonna continue today and we're gonna do a reflection so what we've done in week number three, we're going to do the reflection of it in week number four, and you'll see that coming together today. So without further ado, let's head on into the studio, and let's get started right away. Welcome to week number four. In week number four, we're going to do that reflection as we talked about in week number three. The blue line is here, and now we're gonna do the reflection. So if you just look at the colors, you can see how it's reflecting each other. It's just like a reflecting pool. So we threw in our hound's tooth again. We threw in our alpine stitching, and this will take you to the end where we will have a Catherine wheel stitch in week number five. You will notice that on the diagram is a lot more smaller. So it's a shorter week uh, period, but because the afghan is getting bigger, it will still take you time. Keep an eye on these red arrows that you'll see, and those are just indicating that you will change the direction of the work. So it's the wrong side, right side. Keep an eye on those, and then once we get that done, that'll be the last time that you'll do that. And then the afghan continues in a regular counterclockwise positioning as we're going to work through it. Let's uh, move on and let's begin. So let's continue into week number four and in week number four here we're going to expand from here. So we've got the lift up that we had and then we're gonna go all the way to here before we start this into the final week of the border. So basically this section here is a mirror of what you did is just an opposite look. So if you look at the colors you'll see that it's opposite. So look at this line as the middle and what we're gonna do is expand outward. So we're not gonna uh, mirror everything. We're only just gonna get to the alpine stitch here and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna be going rows, our rounds number 45 all the way I believe to 54 and that's gonna take us right to near to the border and then that will begin. We also have a diagram to follow so you can follow that too. So without further ado, let's get ourselves started. Five and a half millimeter size uh, uh, eye crochet hook in order to begin. So let's begin round number 45. In round number 45, again, it's just opposite to what we're already doing. So just look at the color sequence and you can see that. So I'm moving back to the color A. We're going to join with the slip stitch to the beginning one and we're gonna start in the corner. So you gotta watch these first few rows here, or rounds here. We will be turning around like we did here to get this look. So let's just attach and just that and chain one single crochet into the same one. You could also do a standing single crochet if you wanted to. Chain two to turn the corner and then starting in the very next stitch you're going to apply then a double crochet right into the next stitch and then it's a single crochet and you're gonna do that all the way across. So what I would do in my head is that that was a single so then I would go double and then single and then double and single. And when you come all the way across the last stitch should be a double crochet and then you'll do a corner of one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and then you'll start the next side again starting with the double crochet and then single. So that's what I would do if I were you and this is round number 45 and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So when you get back around just slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. So you already know what you're gonna be doing. You already did it down here. So let's get rid of this color and let's move on then into rounds number 46 and 47 using the same color and we're gonna be switching back to the color B. So let's get our slip knot ready. So when we're looking at the project we have to actually turn the project. So we just finished here so we're gonna turn it around and turn it and go from the back side and attach it to the beginning one. So this round 46 and 47 is the same way. So the 46 we're doing from the back and then when you get all the way back around you're gonna turn it and then you're gonna um, do the exact same thing but then in the other direction. So you've already done this in week number three. So this should be okay for you. So let's just attach it to the middle chain two space. Chain one and one single crochet into that same stitch or same space and then chain two and then one single crochet in. So like before how you started is that the first one will be a double like that 
and then the next one will be then a single and you'll do that all the way across and uh, then on the corners you'll end with one double crochet before the corner and then the corners at one single crochet chain two one single crochet and then you'll start the next side starting with double crochet. So you're doing exactly what you've done before is just the difference is you're going in the other direction and this is creating the textured on the other side of this afghan. So please do this all the way across and I'll see you at the end of this uh, one and then you're gonna turn your work, keep the same color, turn your work and do row number 47 exactly the same way. So it's just like you had done here. So continue this journey and I'll see you at the end of row number 47 and then we'll move on to something new. So I'm coming all the way back around and I am just doing this. Now when I just did this pattern here I just realized that the first time I didn't turn the right direction. So I'm gonna, I have put a note now already on here. So I'm finishing up on the right hand on the right side but you should start the next one on the right side anyway. So uh, right side facing up. So that's kind of a goof up in my part. So I will, I would have put a note by now. So let's uh, move on now to round number 48. Make sure that you are looking at the right side of the project. We're no longer gonna be turning it back and forth from this point forward. Round number 48, let's begin. Looking at the right side of the project, the good side, we're just going to attach to the chain two space in the corner and we are going to continue our journey. So you're just gonna attach chain three, so one, two, three, double crochet into the same one, same space, chain two and then double crochet twice more into that corner. So for this uh, round as we're going around each stitch is gonna get a double crochet and then in the corners it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and please do that all the way around. So I'm just coming all the way back up and I'm just attaching. Now if you're reading the instructions better than I am you would have realized that we did uh, chaining up three and then one double crochet and then we started going around but because I don't pay attention too much this is what I ended up with. So if you are following me here online don't message me and say oh you messed up. I know I messed up. So what we can do is that if you're gonna follow along <laughs> just slip stitch yourself to the corner. Oh my god look at that nice and easy solution. So we're gonna keep this color going one more time and uh, let's begin to do our journey. Now if you were following the instructions um, you would have had to do the final two and then attach using a half double crochet and you'd be back to where I am right now. So good, right? So let's uh, try to pay attention to the instructions better but that might be, <laughs> I don't know. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna chain up one and do one single crochet in the, in the turning chain, sorry in the in the corner. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. And you're gonna go one single crochet in each stitch going all the way around except for the corners. It'll be one uh, single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and when we come all the way back around we'll put in that last single crochet there and attach it with the chain two. How's that sound? This is uh, round number 49 and it's fun and fabulous. Mm -hmm. So once you come all the way back around just come into the beginning single crochet and then chain two and then join to the first single crochet. So that will complete that round off and let's move on and go to our next round, the 50th round and we're gonna start working on the alpine stitches once again. Okay let's move on to round number 50. We're gonna start our alpine stitching. We're gonna come into the corner, chain two space and just pull through and then chain a little bit longer than normal. You're going to put in a half double crochet into the corners. So the, the corners will be one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. So remember that. In the next stitch here you're going to apply one double crochet and then the next one is all the way down here. It's a front post. Yeah. So it's a front post double crochet to the this one here. It's the starting one just from the corner and you're gonna do that going all the way across just like you had done before. So in the very next stitch remember that that counts as the next stitch here so skip it and then just double crochet the next one and then the next one is the next so skip one down here and come into this one. And you're gonna do that all the way across and then when you get to the corner the very last stitch before you hit the corner should be a double crochet and then you'll turn the corner with a half double crochet, chain two half double crochet and start. You've already done this way down here before so it's just a matter of doing it again. So let's just continue this journey and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 50. When you get all the way back around and you are just going to do a double or sorry a half double crochet in the last one and then you're going to join with the half double crochet to the top. So just going into the first half double crochet 
and half double crochet across. So what you're going to do now is just chain up one and do one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around in corners. So it'll be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. This is the 51st round. I'll see you at the end of the round. When you come all the way back around just one single crochet into the final space, chain two and join to the first single crochet. Let's fasten this off and let's move on to the 52nd round using the color D as in dog. So let's move along now and we're going to do the 52nd round using the color D. Let's just join it to the corner and attach and then pull up a chain. So we're going to double crochet or sorry half double crochet into that corner space and now the next two in a row will each be a double crochet. And this is like how we did it before when we were way back earlier in this project. Now the third one we're, we're going to do a drop down and it's just before this other drop down if that helps you to indicate where it is and that's gonna be your next front post double and that counts as the one that it's sitting in front of. So you're just gonna double crochet the next one. So these double crochets will then sit, the front post doubles will sit in front of the ones okay that are here. Okay do you see how they're in, in between? and you're gonna do that all the way across. So the very final two stitches before you hit the corner will be a double crochet and then the corners will be one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet and you're gonna do that all the way around and this is the 52nd round. So as we come back around we're just gonna half double crochet in the final chain two space and then we're going to uh, just join with the half double crochet to the first half double crochet and then that's it. So we're gonna keep this color on one more time. Let's go one more time around the park. We're gonna chain one and put a single crochet in the chain two space and then each stitch is going to um, make its way all the way around. Remember this is a chain one here so don't think that's a stitch because it's not. So it's just one single crochet in each of the stitches in the corner. It's one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 53. So just coming all the way back around on round number 53, this just single crochet in the last chain two and we're going to switch to a new color and let's just get rid of this yarn and we'll be right back. Final round for week number four is going to be with the color A. We're going to attach into the chain two space and it's just a single crochet round. So we just did that. We're gonna do it again. So just uh, pull through chain one and you're going to single crochet chain two and single crochet and it's just one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way to the corner. Corners are single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Please do this all the way around and I'll see you at the end of round number 54 and conclude off week number four today. So I've now just come all the way back around. I've just single crocheted right into the last one. Just do a slip stitch to the beginning single crochet and that's it. Let's get rid of this color and I'll see you next time as we continue our journey with the better together and get rid of this yarn and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. So that's it for now. We've done our reflection in time but it's on to something new for week number five, the final as we do our border together. The border was the hardest thing that we had to do cohesive to kind of bring our journey together so that we could push and pull and also strive for excellence. If you're posting to the social media, Yarnspirations and also the Crochet Crowd is our hashtags for Instagram and of course we want to see your work in progress right here on Facebook too. Until next time, have a good one and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.